Well, when I look back on what happened uh, nearly 10 years ago now, I feel very sad for the fire service. They did their best. They used the tools and deployment strategies that were in place at the time, but when you looked at it and many firefighters trying to get up the stairway as people are trying to egress out, um, trying to get to a very high level floor, the fire was at a very high level, the problems with flow, with exertion on the firefighters, it was uh, you know, truly a moment for pause and thought that could we do better in high rises. The thing that most struck me and led me to want to do some further research was could we somehow deploy these elevators that to date we have considered don't use this in a fire and the elevators really just sit empty. Um, could they be used strategically to assist getting firefighters very high up in a high-rise fire and or to get people down. And the reason we haven't used them before is there's a myriad of problems with this, but could we work those out and make these efficient and effective tools um, and how could we do that? The high-rise study, like all of our past studies, are going to be conducted with working firefighters. So we sit down with the fire service and we map out all the tasks that would need to be done from deployment to different stages of firefighting and attack and overhaul. But in an emergency situation, you have to make sure that um, the elevator has a little bit more intelligence. It, it, it knows when to stop, when not to stop, that it has emergency power backup, that it's hardened, that they might need to be dedicated elevators just for the fire service as opposed to the people. There's evacuation strategy. So there's a lot of questions if we're going to um, employ elevators as part of a total egress strategy. Well, we don't know exactly what the results would be or we wouldn't be doing the study, but we know for sure that it will change the national fire codes on how elevators are designed, installed, and utilized by the fire service. This group has had five years of funding from Department of Homeland Security and other organizations, and we have looked mostly at making the fire, how to make the fire service more efficient and more effective and more safe for the firefighters and the public.